At the core of our campaign is the idea that in America, the circumstances of one's birth, the community they grow up in, should not condemn any person to an inescapable economic fate. We have heard this morning about the challenges we face as a nation and the potential waiting to emerge. But we know from our lived experience that the ladder of opportunity has stronger rungs in some communities than in others. There is not just one America with opportunity or without opportunity. And as we launched this effort, we wondered, how can we work to expand opportunity unless we measure it? So we developed this index in partnership with Measure of America, a project of the Social Science Research Council, and with tremendous support from the United Way Worldwide and our coalition. We built this tool for people to make choices. Some might use it as a map to think about where to live, but most will use it to understand better what is going on in the communities they love so that collectively we can work to solve it. This index measures the conditions present in different communities that constrain or expand opportunity. Unlike personal characteristics, which also have an impact on my mobility, these factors are amenable to policy change and to collective efforts to bring about improvements for communities' residents. Are there jobs? Can people afford a home to buy or to rent? Do most young people graduate from high school on time? And are neighbors volunteering? It is these central questions and others like them that are the focus of the Opportunity Index. And we use the data to derive an opportunity score, a comprehensive snapshot of where a community stands today and how it can improve its future. Released for the first time last fall, we shared the index with tens of thousands of people in the first year. And you helped us make improvements to this measure. We added associate's degree to post-secondary education and included a measure of income inequality. And we increased the number of counties measured so it now covers 99.7% of the US population. So let's begin by talking about what we found. The Northeast and the Midwest dominate the highest ranks of the opportunity score as seen in darker blue, with the top 10 states split evenly between those two regions. The 16 Southern states are disproportionately represented at the bottom of the, in in the index with only the four southern states around the nation's capital not clustered near the bottom. The 11 western states largely occupy the middle to lower middle rankings with three at the very bottom. The top three states in the Opportunity Index are Vermont, North Dakota, and Minnesota. Interestingly, none of these three states are the wealthiest as measured by income, but they excel in many other important qualities. For example, low unemployment, low poverty rates, and rank highest in concentration of primary care providers and high school graduation rates. The bottom three states on the Opportunity Index are New Mexico, Mississippi, and Nevada. Across all three dimensions, they score far below the national average, especially in terms of education, as seen in purple. While 75% of American high school freshmen graduate um, in four years, these three states fall to the bottom of the pack. These states are also lagging behind the national average in post-secondary attainment. And the one area where Nevada excels is income, high income, but that's found alongside some of the highest unemployment in the country. And even greater than the divergence between states, there are vast differences between America's counties. Let me share just a couple of examples. In Falls Church City, Virginia, just a few miles from here, nearly three quarters of residents have an associate's degree or higher. While in McDowell County, West Virginia, that figure is less than one in 10. Falls Church City has a robust constellation of public and private schools and colleges to enroll in, while McDowell County schools system just came under state control due to persistently low test scores and high dropout rates. Same America, different opportunities. Even more stark, the percentage of youth in Apache, Arizona, who are not in school or working, is 18 times more than in Dallas County, Iowa, and more than twice the national average. That's over one third of youth there. In Apache, young people exit into an economy with 16% uh, unemployment rate and one of the lowest median incomes in the country. In Dallas County, Iowa, part of West Des Moines, 95% of students graduate on time and unemployment is below the national average. Same America, different opportunities. 
And while America's 25 largest urban counties are not at the very top or the very bottom of the index, there are real differences. Middlesex County, Massachusetts, which includes the city of Cambridge, is at the top with a B plus grade. Philadelphia, Detroit, San Bernardino are near the bottom with D grades. So we developed this tool to set goals and promote action. In fact, as we've traveled the country and shared the index, we've been engaging with our grassroots opportunity leaders and scholars and other partners to see how they're using the index in their communities. And everywhere we go, we see that the index is not just another data point. The index is a catalyst for change. We will hear three unique stories from community leaders in states that span the rankings and whose own journeys tell us something about the numbers we see. 